Hello, I want to show you how to get a very simple a very simple way for a home based business to get a very cheap website that has its own domain name. Most free or cheap websites don't have their own domain name. I've been building websites for over 15 years and this is the simplest and cheapest solution I've found. It's not perfect. It costs £10 to build this website I'm showing you. Um, so as they say you get what you pay for but I think this is a good way for a very small business to get a website first you need to sign up for a free blog at wordpress.com so this is wordpress.com um, right so go to google and search for wordpress.com do, you do not want to go to wordpress.org you can get free, free you can't get free websites at wordpress.org but you can get them at wordpress.com so go to google search for wordpress.com and off we go right click the big orange button that says get started here and then you'll see this so you sign up for your blog type in a username a password um, and the name that you want to call your blog or your website don't buy a domain name yet they'll ask you if you want to buy a domain name I wouldn't buy one yet if you so you can buy these these are $17 a year um, and until you really decide whether or not this is for you I wouldn't buy one unless you, uh, unless you really want to right um, right you can, you can buy a domain name later and add it to this blog that you're going to make so don't worry about that the only thing to worry about is if, if you want something that's really popular really popular domain name if it's available now and you know you want it then buy it because somebody else might buy it but other than that I wouldn't buy one yet so what you need to do think of something you want to call your blog yeah, Fred's plumbing service whatever it is and type in here think up a username that you can use for WordPress think up a password, you'll have to pass, put your password in twice so that they, they show you haven't typed it wrong put in your email address uh, just put the language English if you're English and then click sign up so let's get back to the screenshots right where do we get to now right now you have signed up for your free blog let's get started by adding a page if you're not already logged in, click login. There's a button here called login. You, you might already be logged in, but if you're not, log in. Right. Right. So once you've logged in, click the link at the top of the page that says blogs. This one. Scroll down to the page you've just made, the, the blog you've just made, and look for that button that says dashboard. Right, if you've only got one blog it's going to be a short list so once you've done that you've got to look on the left hand side of your page look down the left hand side of the page and there's a, a link that says pages click this link so look for pages click that and now you see this add a new page pages add new I'm reading this from a script so that I don't miss anything out for you I don't want to miss anything out so now what you do in this box here type your page title the, the title you want of, of the page, the web page you're going to make put the text you want in here for the web page so you might call it um, the uh, where, where does Fred the plumber work you might work in Bradford Huddersfield Halifax wherever and then put the text below in this other box right now once you've done that well, the, the, the next thing you need to do scroll down the page and look for this bit that says discussion so these are comments and trackbacks and pingbacks now these really only um, apply to blogs if you're making a website you don't want allow comments so unclick those buttons there just click it with your mouse and it'll take away the tick scroll back to the top of the page and look for the publish button 
when you find that click it and you'll see this so you can click this button page published then click view page there you go there's a page you've made here click the log out button and you'll see the page that you've made well that was easy enough I'm going to make some more videos um, in the next video um, I'll show you how to change the page that is used as your home page and make some other useful changes to your website these buttons here one of them is, it says home and you can pick whichever page you want suppose you wanted services I offer to be the home one you can set that so that when, when people first go to your blog or your website the first thing they'll see is services I offer suppose you wanted to have a pricing menu as the first page you can set that so that whenever they go to your home page that, that, that's the one they'll see anyway I'll show you that and some more useful things in the next video thanks for watching I do hope you pop back soon bye